Hi, this is Karen and welcome to my channel, Open Heart Journaling. Today I am doing another page from the art journal I created for the event at Lion's Rest. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your gelatos or any kind of wax water soluble crayon like um, Tim Holtz Distress Crayons to color in your stamps. So first of all, I stamped these Art by Marlene images on a piece of card. Um, I have then scribbled them inside my palette, added water and they become almost like watercolors and you can you can basically color in all your stamps this way. And once you have finished doing the painting, you can add some more detail with your acrylic pens. I find that putting dots in certain places, a little bit of extra color, just finishes the pictures off.
and now they are ready to be cut out as embellishments and added to your page. Now take your colors, decant some of them out onto your palette and then take your credit card and dip the long side or the short side, whichever you prefer, into the paint and drag it across your page. The colors get blended together with the credit card and you get quite a nice C effect using the colors that I have. At the top, I'm putting more white to denote waves. Using the credit card, I also stippled it just by pressing my credit card up and down to give it more of a, a, a wave effect, the waves breaking on the shore. I then also used some stencil paste, which is thicker, to add some texture to the top to make it look like the waves breaking on the beach. I now take the color over onto the next page to make a double page and I'm going to add a beach using grit paste. And then taking my grit paste and a spatula, I apply the grit paste onto the other half of the page. This essentially is to give a more sandy beach effect. And then using acrylic paints and a blending tool in a bit of yellow and brown, I blend that over to give the color of a beach.
So once you've finished your background, you now add your Art by Marlene embellishments. I used my, my stamped elements to do the underwater effect and the ones out of the paper elements book um, to do the beach. And now that I've added all my embellishments and glued them down, I'm ta taking my black and white acrylic pens and I'm just adding some details using stencils to the page. Okay, so I'm completing the page with my pens. I then did add some rhinestones as well as I used a stencil with seaweed, put some black acrylic paint um, through it as well just to give more of an underwater effect. If you look at the beginning of the video, you'll see the page as it looks completed. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll watch the rest.